Good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and receive. <sighs> it's Monday here. It's Monday most places. <laughs> ah, welcome to your 10-minute morning send-off designed to support you in receiving what you most want by unlearning struggle. So today we are going to talk about how to invite good fortune when you feel guilt or guilty. And I have to tell you, um, I actually received requests from like four different people within the span of about 48 hours to talk about guilt. So that was a really clear sign from the universe or from life itself, life flowing uh, insight and invitations to me about something that people need. So I really wanna thank anyone who has been sending in their requests for uh, special topics for Rise and Receive because I thrive on that. I am here to serve. And I really want to offer um, anything that's supportive that's relevant to you and your life. So uh, thank you for that. And please keep on sending your requests, um, your comments, your questions, because it really helps make Rise and Receive the best it can possibly be. So uh, thank you for those of you who are joining me bright and early. As I said, we're going to talk about guilt and feeling guilty and the connection to your capacity to receive your fulfillment by unlearning struggles. So if you don't know me, my name is Sonia Miller. I'm a speaker, coach, and best-selling author, and I am passionate about teaching people how to receive because receiving is its own very specific, very concrete skill set. And if you are somebody who has been pursuing goals, wishes, wants, aspirations for a long time, or trying to solve certain problems or challenges in their life and feeling like you're not making headway, maybe you've been working super, super hard, take pride in your hard work ethic, but a part of you thinks, you know, I wouldn't mind it if it was a little bit easier, or you're still waiting for your long overdue rewards, or you've been making sacrifices for a long time and you're wondering, when's it gonna be my turn? That's what I'm a pa passionate about illuminating here is actually much struggle is learned. And a little bit is a natural part of life, but we have come to over rely on what I call the doing model of power, which is based in the metaphor of the hunter who thinks and takes action and strategizes and has a, has a target on the horizon and pursues, pursues, pursues. But if you don't know how to receive, which is the being model of power and manifestation, you might be working hard till the cows come home because at some point you need to know what to do when you stop the doing so that everything that you've been working so hard for can actually come into your life. And that's what we talk about here at Rise and Receive. <clears throat> so if there is something that you feel guilty about uh, struggle with guilt around. If uh, you know of somebody who seems uh, to, be, to be struggling with guilt, perhaps even paralyzed by guilt or just can't get beyond it, I invite you to really open up your heart and your ears for today's message and um, please invite and share um, because this is here to help you. All right. So what I do each morning is I pull one card from my brand new receive card deck which you can uh, sign up for uh, notifications when it comes out at receivecarddeck.com. And today, what I did was I literally closed my eyes, I spread out the cards and I said, what do I need to know to invite good fortune on behalf of everyone who would like to address guilt? Uh, what do we need to know today? And so I pulled a card and the card that I pulled is actually soothe your loneliness. So this illuminates the power of the cards because while your question might be about guilt, if the card on loneliness comes up, which is what happened today, this is where you get to trust that there's a message here for you. So it might be the whole card, it might be a nugget that you need to hear about guilt and then you get to explore and contemplate through willingness how this can help you. So I'm not gonna read the whole card on soothe your loneliness. I will include a link so you can watch the video that I did earlier this year on that. <clears throat> but I do want to highlight the nugget that spoke to me and then unpack more about guilt and how to invite good fortune. So I'll just start with the top portion. Here we go. 
Deep within your being is a pure, sweet, innocent part of you, your original self that is unconditionally worthy of having every need met and nourished. This aspect of you, your natural innocence, deserves every possible expression of love simply because you exist. Whether you need or want safety, attention, presence, time, space, rest, protection, availability, play, reassurance, or something else, you are worthy of this. And while this is the truth of your natural worthiness, you may struggle for any number of reasons to truly know this. One reason is that we as humans experience conditional love. This isn't a judgment. It isn't good or bad. It's simply a fact. So this is the piece that I want to take, to take out of this card to unpack guilt and how it relates to learned struggle and how it actually can block you from inviting good fortune and receiving greater fulfillment with much greater ease. So the piece I wanted to highlight is this piece where this card talks about your pure, sweet innocence. In other words, your humanity. And part of being human is that we simply don't know. We don't know everything. And we come into this world kind of like the acorn that doesn't yet know what it means to be a big majestic tree. And if you've been hanging out with me lately, you know that I talk about that the, the model for the overacting, the overfunctioning of the doing model that causes so much struggle is the hunter, so much hard work. The majestic tree represents the power of being and how the tree receives all day long and hunts nothing and examines nothing and strategizes nothing and impacts the world with so much generosity and it receives everything it needs all day long. So it's the power of being. And part of being, part of being that natural innocence when you're an acorn and you're planted and you come into this life is you don't know. And the discovery process, the growth process of your fullest self-expression often involves making mistakes. So guilt often comes from things that we've done because we didn't know better and we've hurt somebody else. So I took some notes here because this is so important. I just wanted to really make sure I, I didn't drop anything out. So guilt is often a feeling that comes when you've done something that hurts another person and you're aware that your actions caused action or inaction caused somebody pain. Or maybe because you didn't know any better, there comes a point in your life where you have to make a decision and you actually choose yourself over your needs over somebody else's needs. And that causes pain, perceived pain or this trigger in you. And so that causes guilt, okay? Or maybe you're perceiving an injustice in your life, in the world, and it's in your favor and you see this injustice and that you see the pain that it causes somebody else when there's an injustice. There's, there's many triggers for, for guilt and it can happen in your very intimate world. It can happen on the world stage, okay? We see this all the time in our life. So that's when guilt can arise. Now, we struggle with guilt when in realizing that we've caused another pain, we judge ourselves. We look at it as a sign of our worthiness Oh no, I've caused somebody pain. And we struggle with when we take that judgment and we turn it inward and we don't know how to soothe ourselves because we think that it's really a direct reflection of our goodness as a human being because we're supposed to know better or we're not supposed to cause anybody pain. Again, some struggle in life is natural. There is pain in life. You've heard me say this many times at Rise and Receive. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. So part of being a, a fortunate receiver is we learn how to receive the pain. We learn how to receive it in such a way that it doesn't paralyze us, how we are empowered to receive the pain. What most of us do is we receive what we want and we reject what we don't want. In other words, pain, discomfort, anything we don't want. And this blocks the flow. So we learn to do this 
But in order to be a fortunate receiver, you have to know how to receive not just what you do want, but what you don't want, okay? And then the opportunity to invite good fortune instead of struggle being bound up by holding on to this guilt, which paralyzes us and makes us useless to help the people that we've hurt inadvertently um, or the when we've realized we've made a mistake um, or we want to be a contribution. If we hold on to that guilt, we can't be a force of change. We can't change the circumstances. But when we shift from having guilt be something that causes us to judge ourselves instead to an invitation to discover who we want to be, then we can invite good fortune. So that is my invitation to you, is if you're struggling with, good, uh, with guilt, look at it as an opportunity, instead of judging yourself, to shift to discovering who you want to be. And one of my favorite phrases, when I, have, when I found myself feeling guilty for hurting somebody else or realizing that I was engaging in something that was unfair or unjust because I was unconscious, I used to feel paralyzed in guilt many times around some of these things. But I've learned to take it on as a discovery process. And my favorite pr pr uh, phrase is this, now that I know this, from this point forward, I choose to be X. So from this point forward, have it be a catalyst for discovery. Have it be a call to become the bigger, better version of yourself that you want to be in your relationships and in the world. Okay, we hear a lot in personal growth circles around setting boundaries with other people. This is about setting boundaries with ourselves, drawing lines. Now that I know this, because I'm in a discovery process about how to be the best human being I can be, I'm going to draw this line. And from this day forward, this guilt has given me a gift about how I want to grow. And even if you don't know how you want to change, you just know that you want it to be different in the future. This is where you can invite a brand new willingness mantra. So here's the willingness mantra that I'm gonna offer you today around guilt. I am willing <clears throat> to receive peace as I accept and learn from my own humanity. I am willing to receive peace as I accept and learn from my own humanity. That is how you invite good fortune when you feel guilty. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. And if you found it useful, please like, please share, please subscribe. If you are on YouTube, it helps me reach the people that I'm here to serve. And while I have you, I want to let everyone know that this Wednesday, I'm starting the Vision Workshop, an opportunity to receive your clarity, your power, and your path forward. And it's a perfect opportunity to connect with what today's Rise and Receive is about because the Vision Workshop is all about connecting with who you want to be. The power of the vision is that you ask questions of your soul's inner wisdom and you have your path forward and your power because you're connected to your soul's truth about who you want to be in the world. Whenever people want to set goals and make things happen in their lives, many times I begin them with a vision because when you are rooted and anchored and owning who you want to be, that beingness, that presence is your invitation to life. And boy, when you have a vision for that, you start to receive next steps, possibilities, insights, and manifestations that are so fulfilling. They just come to you because you are fully embodying the truth of who you wish to be rather than this swirl of a storm of confusion that we operate from unconsciously so often. So if you'd like to join me for the vision workshop, by the way, it's recorded if you can't make it live. There's a two-part uh, training on Zoom this Wednesday, next Wednesday, a full month of support and a workbook. I made it very accessible because I want people who want it to just jump in. It's $97. Uh, we have less than half of the seats available now. We're more than half full. So I hope you'll join me. Go to receiveclarity.com and discover the power of creating a vision either for your whole life or for something specific that's really important to you moving forward in the end of this year and in 2021. Please post your questions and comments. Thanks for being here and I'll see you tomorrow at the next Rise and Receive. Bye everybody.